Hi everyone, good evening, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hi Manuel, good evening. What about the Hello. rest of the students? How are you doing? How are you? I know it's Friday, all right? I know that you are tired and you you, you actually, you don't usually uh, study on Fridays, but I'm begging you for today, please be paying attention, all right? Uh, if you pay attention a lot during the class and if you participate, you will feel that the class is not that long, all right? Yo sé que usualmente los viernes no tenemos clase y que pues los viernes los utilizamos para hacer otras cosas, pero por favor, si participamos, si estamos prestando atención, van a sentir que el tiempo pasa eh, súper rápido y es más corta la clase, ¿ok? So, let's get started. Today is Friday, eh, May 05th, 2023. We are in class 12, right? We're still in section four. Today we're going to finish it with it. And we uh, might, probably, we might uh, start with section five, right? Este día finalizamos con la sección cuatro y probablemente vamos a iniciar con la cinco, right? So let's get started. Let's see. Do you remember? Mention at least three positive possessive adjectives. So let me have mm -hmm. Manuel Hernandez. Tell me three possessive adjectives that you remember. Your. Uh -huh. Their. My. My. Perfect. Thank you. Now, a. Um, Carlos, tell me another three possessive adjectives that you remember. Possessive adjectives. Let's listen to Carlos. Ours. Our, uh -huh. uh, yours. Uh -huh. Our possessive adjectives. Ahorita estamos en los adjetivos posesivos. Solo it sería our. It. It. It, so. Ah, it's, it's, yes. No, it's, it's. Mm. And her. Their. Her. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Repeat. Her. Their. Their. Okay, you turn off your microphone. That's not useful, okay? I think you mentioned there because there we don't have any uh, a possessive adjective called there. So let's go with the next one. Mention at least three possessive pronouns. Now, you need to know how to differentiate both possessive adjectives from possessive pronouns. So let's listen to Lisette Rodriguez. Tell me three possessive pronouns. My, yours, and theirs. Excellent, thank you. Mine, yours, theirs. That's perfect, he said. Thank you. Jen C. Valle, tell me another three possessive pronouns, please. Okay, his, uh -huh. hers, ours. That's correct, thank you. Very good. All right, everyone, thank you so much for your participation, all right? That it's like a show for me that you are learning, that you remember, or that at least you have information to practice with, okay? So let's get started. Today we're going to study weather around the world. So I'm gonna share with you the, let me just, I'm going to share with you the video from the platform. Let me just look for it. Weather around the world, okay? Here we go. Let's pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. 
Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I'd like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Hi there. Okay, now let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. And let's practice weather and seasons, all right? So we have the first one. Let me take out my magic wand. We have, it's a spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. No es Rusia, es Russia. It's snowing, it's very cold, okay? Now, let me listen to Miguel, please. Tell me the, the weather, no, the seasons and the weather, right? Action. It's spring in Brazil. It's, it's complete or what you can see here. Yes. The season and the weather, la temporada y el clima. Season okay. weather, season weather. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. It's fun in the USA. It's cool, it's cold and the windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snorkeling. It's a very cool. All right, excellent. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> Repeat after me. Oh, you're sick. It's a spring. It's a spring. A no, spring. A spring, yes. A spring. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Anytime. Now, let's check this out. There are some things that are pretty different from our country, right? For example, in El Salvador, we might have some of the seasons. We do have a fall, we have summer, we have winter. The thing is that they are not pretty clear as in other countries, right? So let's check. In Korea, when it's summer, it's hot, but at the same time, it's raining, which is pretty annoying. O sea, in Korea, a pesar de que es el verano, hace muchísimo calor, pero al mismo tiempo llueve. Entonces, como que bien irritante, right? Having that weather and that season, basically. Whereas in our country, mientras que nuestro país is usually just raining, right? We don't tend to feel hot when we are in sun, when we are, sorry, in our country it's different because when we are in summer, it's just hot. It's not raining. En nuestro país es diferente porque cuando es summer, es verano, está caliente, right? Y sí hay un poco de humedad, pero en realidad es más caliente y no llueve, all right? So it's pretty different. In some aspects, we can say that we have a better weather. So let's check. Let me ask uh, Mario Molina, please. Then you practice uh, we, um, season and weather. Season, weather, season, weather, season, weather. Action. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot 
and humid. It's fall in the USA. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's, it's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Perfect. Excellent pronunciation with your vocabulary. Just one thing, Mario. Tenemos a aquí, Mario. USA. It's fall in the USA. No. Lo que le estaba diciendo es que no hay A. Porque no es United States of America. Solo es United States. Oh. oh. No es USA. Ah, exactly. O sea, usualmente decimos USA porque ya es algo como que mecánico nos los dicen desde que estamos en la escuelita, right? USA, USA. Pero en realidad okay, si no fall. aparece la A, no podemos decir USA porque no está la A. Solo decimos okay. US. US. Ok, ok. Thank you. Exactly. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> Perfect. So, let me, let me listen to the next one. Um, Manuel Hernández, please. Action. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's, it's fall in the U US. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Perfect. Thank you. Let me listen to Lisette Rodriguez, please. And after Lisette, um, Manuel Campos. Action, Lisette. It's spring in Brazil. It is, it's war is very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's rainy, it's hot in, in humid. Is fall in the U US. 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 It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cool. Very cold. Very cold. Excellent. Thank you so much, Lisette. Thank you so much for your effort. Let's go with Manuel Campos. Action. It's, it's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, let's listen to Jen Valle, please. The vocabulary, the sentences. Okay. Um, it's a spring in Brazil. Brazil. Oh, whatever. Brazil. It's one is very sunny. Um, it's falling in use. It's called, it's cloudy and windy. It's summer in Korean. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's a winter in Russian. It's snowing. It's very cold. That's perfect. Thank you. Let's go with um. Let me check. Evelyn Flores, please. The whole vocabulary. Okay. It's the spring in Brazil. It's summer in Korea. It's fall in the USA. It's winter in Russia. Perfect, Miss Flores. Excellent. Thank you. Now, just something because you came up late, solo porque entro un poquito tarde, le voy a explicar esto, right? Pero esto es para todos. Si tenemos, voy a sacar mi magic wand, right? Si tenemos. U S A significa United States of America. 
right? Pero tenemos las, la A, United States of America. Si solo tenemos U, punto S, que es lo que tenemos aquí en la imagen, solo es United States, Estados Unidos, right? We don't need to mention America because we are pretty much all American, right? So that's something to point out, okay? There you go. Okay, thank you, sorry. Don't worry, honey, it's okay. No se preocupe, solo se lo digo porque usualmente eh, lo podemos hacer y, y hay personas que se pueden ofender porque les decimos Americans a ellos, all right? So that's the thing. Jensi, let me hear you. Yes, um, this is uncommon. Mm -hmm. Is this example, for example, when uh, computation, the Miss Universe, for example, when that means to come up today, Miss Yus, is the pronunciation is you, yes, no, but I don't say you stay. It's no. US. Mm -hmm. Lo que pasa, what happens is that our or listening, it's getting used to it, all right? So we tend to listen another pronunciation, but they say U.S. U.S. Miss U.S. Uh -huh. Miss U.S. Exactly. That's yes. Right. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jancy, for your uh, comment in the class. That was perfect. Thank you. All right. So there you go. That's just something for you to know, all right? FYI, for your information, okay? Now, eh, cuando me escuchen decir FYI, esta, esta acronyms that I'm going to be in here, FYI, all right, significa for your information. No vayan a pensar mal, okay? For your information, para su información, right? So you can have more vocabulary. También pueden agarrar más vocabulario, all right? FYI. Uy. Miss. Perdón, aquí le puse U y es I, F-Y-I. ¿Sí, Jensen? Is this uh, like a word, uh, slang? No. No, no, it's not an slang. It's oh. uh, what we call acronyms. Acronyms, ah, oh, okay. Acronyms, right? Okay. Now, for example, another one, BTW. BTW, que significa by the way. Por cierto, by the way. Eso significa la frase, by the way, all right? Yo puedo decir, hey, great pronunciation, eh, Evelyn. By the way, you have improved a lot. Muy buena pronunciación, Evelyn. Por cierto, ha mejorado muchísimo, right? You can make use out of these ones. Pueden hacer uso de esto, right? Plus, you will sound more interesting. Además de sonar más interesante, ya saben cómo manejarlo. Se pueden utilizar en cualquier contexto. Um, oh, but... When you talk about the other person, you are saying, by the way, but when you do that right, is BTW and well, right. For example, in WhatsApp, yeah. when in a conversation with other people and say, and, and write BTW, the expression is, by the way. When oh, I really? talking about with other person, by the way, I, 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 I speak the, the phrase, by the way. Yes, yes. For example, Jensi, imagine if you say, hey, eh, Manuel, nice, nice suit. Que buen traje, all right? By the way, it looks good on you. Por cierto, oh. se ve bien en ti, all right? So, lo podemos yes. utilizar en cualquier contexto. Okay. BTW, yes. Thanks. Y si la persona ya sabe inglés, va a entender que es BTW, all right? Eh, usualmente, ese, eso es lo que se dice, no se dice by the way. ¿verdad? Si queremos sonar más formales, Decimos, by the way, y si la persona no lo conoce también. Pero si la persona ya tiene una interpretación de ese acrónimo, solo decimos, hey, by the way, you look good on that suit. BTW, you look good on that suit. Now, there you go. That was just something extra, right? Eso era algo extra para su vocabulario. So let's check. Uh, let's move on to a conversation. It's very cold. We have Patty and Julie. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well, 
you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Judy. All right. So let's check. Let me listen to, do I have volunteers? Tengo voluntarios para participar. Necesito dos. Perfect, Mr. Campos, another one. Miguel, that's perfect, all right. Uh, Mr. Campos, you are Patty. Miguel, you are Julie, action. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and um, and I not wearing boots. Okay, let's stay a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Congrats. Awesome. Así me gusta que sean los primeros en participar y que lo hagan muy bien. Excelente. Very good. Um, let me check. Ahora yo escojo a alguien y ese alguien va a jugar a su pareja. All right, uh, Lizeth Rodriguez, please select someone. Seleccione a alguien. Tenemos eh, Carlos, Mario, Molina, eh, Manuel Hernández, Jensi Valle, and Evelyn Flores. Um, Evelyn Flores. Okay. <laughs> Let's check. Eh, Lizeth, you are Pat. Evelyn, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowy and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat is warm. And I am not wearing boots. Okay, Let, let's take a tight. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, girls. All right. Uh, just let's practice this, Lizeth. Isn't. 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 Yes, perfect. Thank you. Very good oh, job. No. Oh, no. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's snowing. And it's very cold. It's going to be your time, Manuel Hernandez. Okay. Eh, todo, todo repetir. Don't worry, that's great. No se preocupe, es excelente. Qué bueno. Ya si no me siento mal de que no practican. Si están practicando, very good. Hasta una lagrimita se me sale. Let's check. Let me have Manuel Hernandez. Select your pair, please. Seleccione su pareja, por favor. Tenemos a Mari Molina, Carlos Salvador y Jen Sibay. Mari Molina. Okay, perfect. Uh, Manuel, you are Pat. Mario, you are Julie. Action. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing. Um, it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are not at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. Um, I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you. Great job. Thanks a lot. Now, let's go with the next one. Jensi. Jensi, you are going to work with Carlos Salvador. Action. Oh, by the way, Jensi, you are Pat Salvador. You are Julie. Action. Okay. Oh, no. <clears throat> What's the matter? It's snowing, but it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? <laughs> no, they are home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm. Um, I'm not wearing but. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Perfect, excellent intonation, fluency and pronunciation, very good. I can't complain of this group. You are doing an amazing job, all right? No, no hay ninguna queja sobre este grupo. Están haciendo un trabajo increíble. Very good. Thank you. Now, he también he logrado ver que sí manejan el drama hasta ahorita donde lo llevamos. 
la mayoría sabe cómo trabajar la parte gramatical y ahora me he mejorado muchísimo en la pronunciation. All right? Puede ser que ustedes algunos ya tengan, ay, ustedes algunos, perdón, puede ser que algunos de ustedes ya tengan un background, all right? es decir, que ya tengan un pasado en el inglés, quizás ya conocían un poquito, pero ya se les había olvidado, y otros pues solo lo van retomando y se están esforzando muchísimo, así que felicidades porque en realidad están desarrollando una excelente performance, all right? So let's check, let me have, we have Kevin Alexander, hi Kevin. Right, uh, you are going to practice with, I don't think I'm missing anyone, no creo que me falte nadie, así que va a practicar conmigo, Mr. Batres. All right, I'm Path, you are Julie. Yo soy Path, usted va a ser Julie. Oh, no. Ah, he's busy. What happened? Oh, okay, great. Don't worry. Gotcha. So we don't have Kevin, which is happening here, but he cannot practice. He's at work. So let's move on to the next topic, everyone. During this whole semester, we've been working with um, verb to be, right? Hemos estado trabajando con el verb to be, possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns. We've been working pretty much a lot with those topics. Right now, we are going to use present continuous. Vamos a utilizar el presente continuo. So, let's try to catch up. Primero voy a leerlo yo, escuchen la pronunciación y luego voy a poner a uno de ustedes a que lea. We use present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress or is happening right now. So, let me listen to Evelyn Flores, please. Read the information. Okay. We use present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress or is happening right now. Perfect. Let me listen to Miguel Angel, please. Read the information once again. We use a present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in process, progress, or is happening right now. Perfect. Let's listen to Manuel Hernandez, please. Read the information the third time. Present continuous. We use present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to, to talk about an uh, action that is in progress or is happening right now. Perfect. Lisette Rodriguez, you are the fourth one. Action. We use present continuous or present progressive whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress or is in happening right now. Perfect. Thank you. So let's check. So let me listen to Mario Molina. Mario, when do we use present progressive? Cuando utilizamos el presente progresivo in English? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? What happened? Where were you? ¿A dónde andaba? No, o sea, no sé. No sé de cómo responder eso de dónde podemos usar el progresivo. Bueno, no, no, ¿a dónde no? Where no? When? When can we use progressive? Right? No, no. When do we use it? When you want to talk. Percent continuous or percent progressive. Uh -huh. Whenever you. Whenever you want to talk about an uh, action that is progress or is happening right now. Perfect, thank you. Está hoy mismo, pero... Exactly, that's correct. That's the continuous. Justamente, Mario, ese es el continuo, right? Progresivo, continuo es lo mismo y usualmente se utilizan ambos términos. Así que, correcto, Mario. When you have an action that is in progress. Simple as that. All right? So, let's check. Um, 
Gen Z, Gen Z, when do we use present progressive? Well, for example, when I to uh, realize the action in this in, in, in present, for example, um, if you want to uh, go um, the bathroom, for example, and the person asks me, where do you go? I'm going to the bathroom. Okay, yes. Thank you, Jesse. So, in other words, is when you do the action at the moment that you are talking. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's check. Present continuous. Let's see. We have present continuous statements and conjunctions. For example, she's, sorry, I'm wearing shoes. Voy a sacar mi varita mágica, solo en un segundo. I'm wearing shoes. Estoy utilizando zapatos o estoy usando zapatos. You're wearing shoes. She's wearing shoes. We're wearing shoes. They are wearing shoes. It's a snowing, right? Obviamente el it's no le podíamos poner el zapato porque el it's es para eso, right? Entonces decimos it's a snowing. La siguiente, negativo. I'm not wearing boots. Para el I am solo hay una, right? No hay dos. Mientras que para todos los demás sí hay dos opciones. You're not wearing boots. You aren't wearing boots. She's not wearing boots. She isn't wearing boots. We're not wearing boots. We aren't wearing boots. They are not wearing boots. They aren't wearing boots. It's not raining. It isn't raining. Conjunctions. It's a snowing and it's very cold. I'm wearing a coat but I'm not wearing boots. So let me start with Carlos. Carlos, you are affirmative. Please, usted va con la primera columna, los afirmativos. Recuerde, el subject y el verb to be más la oración que tiene aquí, con todos. Action. Mm. I'm your, she's wearing shoes. Carlos, como yo lo hice, all right, I'm wearing shoes, you're wearing shoes. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm wearing shoes, you're wearing shoes, she's wearing shoes, we're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes, it's no, uh, it's snowing. Yes, perfect, thank you. Let's listen to Miguel, Miguel, you are... Eh, the contractions negative, usted va a hacer la parte de la parte larga, ok? The full part. Y eh, Manuel Campos, usted va a hacer la parte contractada. Entonces, Miguel, usted va a iniciar aquí y su oración termina acá. Comienza aquí, termina acá. Action, Miguel. Okay. Solo que ahorita, sorry, ahorita solo va a trabajar Miguel, solo, right? Cuando Miguel finalice, va Manuel Campos. Action. Ok. I'm not wearing boots you're not wearing boots she's not wearing boots we're not wearing boots they are not wearing boots it's not raining perfect let's go with manuel please you aren't wearing boots she isn't wearing boots we aren't wearing boots they aren't wearing boots it isn't raining perfect thank you now let's go with the conjunctions let me have a Lizeth rodriguez please conjunctions both sentences ambas oraciones action it's, it's knowing and it's very cool in wearing a coat, 
Dice él que no. Es que no lo veía. No lo ve. Lo, lo ah, vamos a mover si quiere, permítame. All right. Para acá. All right. Yes, yes. Eh, it's, it's, no, it's, it's snowing. And it's very cool. Very cold, sorry. And very uh, cold. cold. But coach but i know very boots yes perfect thank you all right there you go everyone this is highly special all right esto es especial porque por ejemplo las primeras que vimos la primera columna ahí están utilizando muchas r's y muchas s bueno solo una s y muchas r's y es importante que aprendamos a desligar la lengua, right? O sea, tratar de, de desarrollarla más, porque a nosotros nos cuesta mucho, en realidad, eh, decir nosotros, right? Eh, another word with R, rápido, right? So, we try to, we need to push ourselves to repeat in a good way the words. And it's not from the night to the, to the sunlight, right? No es de la noche a la mañana que lo hacemos, pero sí podemos empezar a practicar desde ya, que están en beginners. Now, without being said, let's move on to the structure. ¿Esta estructura está especializada solo o está específica solo para statements, solo para oraciones? Mm -hmm. Let me have Gen C. Valle. Do you think you can read the structure, please? Okay, sure. Structure, subject plus verb to be plus verb plus ENG, plus complement. Right, perfect. Eh, permítanme, solo voy a, a, quiero ponerles algo aquí. Gracias, Jensi. Aquí no le pongan plus porque en realidad el verbo tiene que ir en ING, right? Ya vamos a ver unos ejemplos de cómo. So, as Jensi mentioned, subject plus verb to be plus verb in ING plus complement. Copy this on your notebook, please. Um, all the bird. Mm. Sorry. Um, all the verb is in ENG transform. Yeah. ENG. Yes. Oh. Instead of saying play, you will say playing. Instead of saying cry, you will say crying. Instead of saying eat, you will say eating, walking, talking, dancing. Yeah, but, but all verb, regular verb or irregular verb? Too? No, in this one, it doesn't matter if it is regular or irregular. Okay. Remember, Jen said, the most likely we use regular and irregulars in its form, in su forma propia, irregulares o irregulares. When we are in simple present. Más que todo lo utilizamos cuando estamos en presente simple. Right? Yes, be, yes because the action is progressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y a la acción es progresiva. Entonces cambia de presente simple al progresivo. It's different. Yes. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you for your explaining. All right. It's okay. There you go. Okay. Do we have any questions about this one? Comments? If not, should I move on? Okay, let's move on then. Guiding examples. Let's listen to Mario Molina. Example number one, example number two, action. Marta is wearing her favorite skirt Andrea and Pablo are listening to music. Perfect, thank you. Eh, Miguel, where is Miguel? ¿Dónde está Miguel? No lo veo. I dare you. Okay, number three and number four, Miguel. Okay, my parents are driving home right now. You are leaving the house again. Okay, thank you. Aquí es living. 
de dejar her get. All right, okay. and again, okay. repeat after me. Home, driving home. home. Driving home. Excellent. Only that. Excellent. All right, there you go, everyone. En todas las oraciones, la acción es progresiva. I'm wearing, Martha is wearing her favorite skirt. Martha está vistiendo su falda favorita. Quiero aclararles algo. Yo sé que ustedes podrán pensar, ¿y por qué no utilizo use? Si sí, use es usar. Y así decimos en español. Estoy usando mi blusa favorita. Estoy usando mi blusa favorita. Pero en realidad es vestir. El verbo correcto es vestir, ¿all right? Estoy vistiendo mi traje favorito. Estoy, eh, sí, vistiendo, ¿all right? Entonces, por eso es que en inglés no decimos use. Para todo lo que esté relacionado con prendas, ropa, relojes, lentes, todo lo que sea accesorios o ropa, no decimos use, decimos wear. I'm wearing sunglasses. I'm wearing fake nails. I'm wearing, eh, I'm wearing rings. Right? Para todo utilizamos wearing, cuando es de vestimenta o accesorios. Right? And all of these sentences are in progressive. Todas estas oraciones están en progresivo. Los verbos, en realidad, en su forma infinitiva, for example, sería, este sería listen. All right? Ahí termina su forma infinitiva. Cuando usted dice, do you listen to music? ¿Tú escuchas música? Do you listen to your music? Está el verbo en infinitivo. Pero como ahorita requiere una acción progresiva, le agregamos ing, right? Ahora bien, no nos podemos confundir. El ing, el, perdón, la acción progresiva solo se hace cuando tenemos el verb to be, all right? Si yo no tengo el verb to be, no es present progressive, solo es gerundio, y los gerundios actúan diferente al, al en español, all right? Entonces, sí quiero aclararles eso porque más adelante vamos a ver un tema relacionado a eso, right? But so far, so good. Now, let's move on to this one. Instructions. It says, let me listen to, no, I'm going to say it myself. Jensi, do you have a question? Yes, please. Could you, this example that you're doing in Spanish? Do you want me to give you the examples in Spanish? Yes, because that gerund is usually in Spanish, but in English is not usually, but for example, gerund. Okay, I'm going to give you some of them, all right? Because that's translation, that's translation, and that's another work, okay? Yes. So let's check. When we say Martha is wearing her favorite skirt, skirt Marta está vistiendo su falda favorita. Andrea and Pablo are listening to music. Andrea y Pablo están escuchando música, right? Eh, my parents are driving home right now. Mis padres están manejando hacia la casa ahorita. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but this is um, present progressive. What, sí, is the yeah. different, what, what, what is in between the difference and between an, um, progressive and gerundio? Ah, what the gerundio. No, yes, vamos a ver el tema de gerundio, Jensi, porque no está en la plataforma. No puedo okay. tocarlo. Pero sí les voy a explicar eh, cuál es la, la diferencia, básicamente, right Del gerund no, no trabaja igual que el, simple, que el present progressive. Siempre que tenemos present progressive, utilizamos el verb to be. Si no está el verb to be, es gerundio. Y el gerundio se puede utilizar en presente, en, simple, en presente simple. right Cuando usted dice, I like painting houses. Me gusta pintar casas. Ahí no tengo presente progresivo. Ahí tengo simple present plus gerund. Presente simple más gerundio. Mm. Well. Works that for you? Or I just waste? Did you no, exactly. Me? I say the state. <laughs> ¿Ah? No, exactly. Not, because no, I don't recognize what is the difference. Okay, let me show you with this one then. What are, we have the topic conjunctions. Aquí ya nos pasamos a otro tema, que son las conjunciones, right? Porque en realidad no estamos viendo los gerundios. Ese no es el tema en la plataforma, es un tema avanzado. Por eso no lo tienen aquí. Pero solo para darle una idea. Si yo digo, I like cooking and eating, me gusta cocinar 
y comer, right? Cocinar y comer. Yo pongo el gerundio solo para darle sentido en inglés, pero en realidad todo está en presente, no hay progresión, right? Yo no digo, me gusta cocinando, me gusta comiendo, no. Estoy diciendo, me gusta cocinar, me gusta comer, right? Those, that's how the gerunds work in English. Así es como funcionan los gerundios en inglés. Tienen la forma en ING, pero en realidad están siendo utilizados ah, okay, en presente. Ok, ok, I understood. That's yes, but it depends on the context. Depending on your grammatical the, the, Yes, Depende yes. su tiempo gramatical. Yes, it's English grammatical. Mm -hmm. is, 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 is it is, um, they're confused. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. a bit confusing. I know, Gen Z, sí es confuso en realidad. Está 100% comprobado que terminamos de aprender las cosas hasta que ya nos toca enseñarlas, right? Hasta que ya nos toca exponernos al 100%. So, don't worry. When you get exposed to the language, 100%, you will learn it. Yeah, thank you, miss. You're welcome. Okay, now, uh, before we move on, I'm going to let you practice in, in this one. Antes de movernos a los siguientes temas, all right? Porque sí tenemos que terminar la plataforma ahora. Uh, I'm going to ask you... Esto va a ser tarea, ¿ok? Para el día lunes me las van a entregar. Two sentences using present progressive in affirmative. Presente progresivo en afirmativo, que es la estructura que acabamos de ver, ¿ok? Now, let's move on to the next one. Conjunctions and and but. Es muy usual que cuando nosotros hablamos, no queremos terminar nuestra oración, sino que le agregamos conectores. Y eso se llaman conjunctions. Tenemos y, pero, and, but. What are conjunctions? Mario Molina, read the information. Conjunctions are. Conjunctions are words that link other words. Phrases or clauses together. Exactly. Las conjunciones se encargan de ligar o, o de entrelazar palabras, frases o inclusive cláusulas, right? Por eso les digo, eh, los gerundios en realidad no están en esta plataforma, no están en este nivel porque es más avanzado, un poco más avanzado. En el futuro van a ver, el, van a volver a ver el presente simple, pero ya con gerundios, ya con más información, right? No les acumulan todo un solo porque si no no entenderíamos nada. Si se fijaron, hemos estado trabajando con el verb to be in present. Y now el present progressive, and that's it. ¿Ok? Pero sí es importante que conozcamos las conjunctions. Ahora bien, el ejemplo que yo traigo aquí no es de present progressive, no es presente progresivo. Es de simple present, pero con las conjunctions. Lo que yo quería que vieran era cómo se utilizan las conjunctions. I like cooking and eating, but, pero, agrego una coma antes del but. I don't like washing dishes afterwards. Pero no me gusta lavar trastes luego. All right, o después. Después. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Very good. Oh, no, sorry, let's... Sorry. don't worry. That's good. Ahora sí, aquí les pongo um, el present yes or no questions. Vamos a ver. Las conjunctions, recuerden, solo es para entrelazar. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, vamos a ver. My parents are driving home right now, but they don't have any more gasoline. Pero ya no tienen gasolina, right? My parents are driving home right now, and they are taking my sister with them. Mis padres están manejando a casa ahorita y llevan a mi hermana. And they are taking my sister with them. Right? That's how it works. Now, present progressive questions. All right? Aquí lleva con questions. Let me check. Yes, questions. Questions structure. And we have Evelyn. Can you read the structure, please? Okay, verb to be plus subject plus verb, <clears throat> sorry, verb ing plus complement plus um, 
question mark. Question mark. Yes, thank you. Indeed. So let's copy this structure on your notebooks, please. Okay, I'm going to move on. You can watch the recording later on if you need to. Voy a dejarlos aquí eh, para que vean los examples mientras tomo la lista de asistencia, right? So let me just move this thing out. Okay. Okay, so today is Friday, or fifth. Beatriz Adriana, she's not in here. Carlos Salvador. Present. Evelyn Flores. Freddy Franco. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz. Mm, Jose Mario Molina. I am here. Jose David Rosales Vasquez. Mm. Karen Lisset Osorio. Kevin Alexander Batres. Present. Kevin Antonio Chicas. Kevin Daniel Rivera, he's absent. Kevin Ernesto Garcia, absent. Luis Alfonso Rivas, he's absent forever. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Manuel Campos. Present. Lizeth Rodríguez. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present. Sandra Beatriz, William Alexander, Jensi Asensio Valle. I'm present. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's go back to the PowerPoint. Let me listen to Jensi, please. The questions and Manuel Hernandez, the answers. Action. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Uh, maybe an error and answer and not say. Uh, they aren't. Creo que ahí hay un apóstrofe con doble. Con, creo para mí que es un error. In aren't. Solo debería haber un apóstrofe. No they aren't. Pero ahí hay dos veces. R R. Ah, perfect, Mario. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Qué sí. bueno que se fijó en eso. Gracias. Very good. No, they aren't. Exacto, porque ya teníamos la otra contracción, ya tenemos el aren't contractado, ya no es necesario ponerlo de nuevo. Ok, let's start. Action. Present continuous. Yes or not question. Question. Are you wearing a suit? Is she wearing bed? Uy, tiene que poner la respuesta, Jensi. Usted va preguntando como en una conversation y su compañero le va a contestar. Ah, ok. Es en um, simultáneo. Ok. Yes. Ok, number one. Are you wearing a set? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing a bed? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they are. Perfect, thank you. Now, let's check the other examples. Y con esto finalizamos completamente la plataforma. Let me listen to Miguel Ángel, please. Read example number one, two, and three. Okay. Are you calling Paul? Is Marta eating pizza? Are Julio and Fernando drinking soda? Very good, thank you. 
Notemos que las preguntas inician con el verb to be. Right? That's the purpose. Por eso se llaman yes or no questions. Uno, porque las respuestas son yes or no. Y también porque inician eh, with this verb to be. Let's go with the next one. Eh, Lizeth Rodriguez, four and five. Are we, are we wearing uniform? Is David driving home? Right, repeat after me, uniforms. Uniforms. Excellent, thank you, right? <laughs> So in this ones, we are using the complete structure. En estas estamos utilizando la estructura completa. There are no misses. No hay nada que haga falta aquí. And if you have any questions, now is your moment. Si hay preguntas de cómo hacer las preguntas, ahora es un momento. Si tienen dudas de cómo hacer sus preguntas, ahora es un momento. Everything is pretty clear. Seems like it. Vaya, como dato eh, general, este día tienen que finalizar la sección 4. Quiero ver quiénes la han finalizado. Levanten la mano virtual. No one. Nadie. Vaya, entonces, I'm gonna let you go. Ah, vaya, qué bueno, excelente. Manuel, Jensi, Carlos, Manuel, very good. Bravo, manpower. Now, everyone, I'm going to let you go now so that you can work on the platform, the rest of the people. Este día se finaliza esa plataforma sección 4. All right? Lunes iniciamos con la sección 5. All right, everyone, take care. Have a great one and see you on Monday. Bye. Take care. Bye, yeah. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.